The Airbus A380 is set to be released for Microsoft Flight Simulator on PC on the 31st of October. In today's video, I'll be bringing you the latest flight sim news. Hello everyone, it's Brandon here, I do hope you're all well. Some incredible news as you've just heard, so without further delay, let's get into today's flight sim news. Now first up, the PMDG team have released an extensive update for their Boeing 737 family on the sim. This update is is available now via the operation center and to get this update you will have to update the operation center itself now some users have been reporting that this update had been causing some issues and bugs uh, with the electronic flight bag uh, and the new navigraph data in the aircraft in particular the associated pmdg team and navigraph team are aware and on this uh, for me i didn't have any issues it is a hefty update in the improvements it brings from improved flight control handling, updated autopilot logic, uh, specifically focusing on vertical navigation or VNAV, the implementation of the weather radar finally, although it is only a Sobos uh, version integrated, which to be honest, uh, for me does a good enough job, it just looks pretty cool, I know it's not totally realistic. On top of this, there's also an overhauled electronic flight bag. It's really good, uh, similar to the 777 now. It means you can now control ground services and open doors, manage auto cruise and update Navigraph, all from the comfort of the onboard iPad, making life a little bit easier and means you don't have to scroll through the flight computer, uh, which was a bit annoying. Have you tried this latest update? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now before I bring you the incredible news from the Fly by Wire team, just a little update from the Bluebird Simulations team who have been working on a payware Boeing 757 200 and 300 for the sim on PC and Xbox for some time now. Now sadly, but in full transparency, they have told us that this highly anticipated airliner will not be with us in 2024 and indeed, in development will tick over into next year, 2025. Now as frustrating frustrating as it may be, I do think there's really no harm in waiting for what should be an exceptional product. From everything we've seen so far, they really are putting their heart and soul into this, so I've got no issue with waiting a little bit longer. Although it does look like Aerosoft didn't get the brief uh, with all the years of work on their A330. But back to the Bluebird team, they have also confirmed that this aircraft will be available on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 as a free upgrade, which is incredibly important as the sim is just around the corner. I know it may annoy a few of you, but to be honest, um, I'm glad they've been transparent about it and wish them good luck on the continued progress. Now for the news you have been waiting for, as I told you right at the start of this video the airbus a380 by the fly by wire team will be released in an alpha state on the 31st of october for pc 100 percent for free just a handful of days away i cannot wait for it to roll out of the hangar filling up dubai airport in particular as well as the skies over the atlantic i'm sure some airports of all shapes and sizes as people use their imagination with the a380 even just from an outsider it has been an incredible journey not over yet as work and development will continue but as of the 31st uh, of October we will have the king of the skies in the sim it's a truly incredible feat but the big thing here is that this has been entirely community driven by a now massive team of volunteers who've set their free time aside for this passion so a big thank you to every single one of them many of whom I've now had the opportunity to meet in person so that's pretty cool. Now feature wise it is set to be incredibly in depth and while it won't be absolutely perfect from the very start you can expect the highest quality of textures and sounds just from what we've seen and heard with custom Airbus systems incorporated from OAMS which is for taxiing uh, around a busy airports or complex airports to brake to vacate which is an automatic braking system applied post landing. The standard the fly by wire team are going for can best be seen on their most recent out of the hangar video it's about an hour long live stream showing this aircraft in full glory inside and out something that sticks out to me aside from the fantastic cockpit with all the systems in there is the cabin in the back it's the part of the plane that to be honest no developer needs to work on but just look how detailed it is in the back it looks absolutely incredible 
Now, of course, there will be extensive coverage of this plane on my channel and indeed across the internet. Frankly, I'll be watching plenty of videos all night on the 31st to really get the hang of this plane. The team have confirmed from the very start it should be VATSIM compliant, uh, so that gives you a good idea on what level this will be released at. It's not far away at all, and this is some truly exciting news to finally report on. Now, all of this news is on the backdrop of the imminent Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 release which is just around the corner on the 19th of November it is quite literally marked on my calendar now over the few weeks we've had a fascinating insight into the next big sim through the technical alpha that many people on the internet have been sharing I think you'll all share my enthusiasm for the sim it looks fantastic to make it clear I'll be grabbing the premium deluxe version and hope to share my experiences from day one although truthfully my PC might need a little update to share the best content. It is my intention to keep an eye on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, stick around on there as well when I can, uh, but 2024 will definitely be something I'm looking forward to. Nothing more to say here except keep your eye out for content on my channel, but on that note, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do be sure to like, comment and subscribe. It is always a pleasure. I'll see you all very soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.